How's it guys? My name is Chris and I'll be chatting to you today about my story. I serve with on the eldership team along with my wife Carmen of Oxygen Life Church um, and it's really an honour to be chatting with you um, this morning. I think often uh, the start of testimonies can be quite sombre but uh, I'm really excited actually to be sharing this with you today. And so my story starts um, I grew up um, in a Christian home, uh, a very big home. I have uh, three siblings, so a family of six. Um, a family and a mom and dad who really loved the Lord for many, many years and still do. Um, but dynamics started to change within my family um, and it really caused me to rebel, I think, unintentionally even, just through hurt and brokenness and not even understanding myself and really not even at such a young age understanding the Lord and not having a revelation of him for myself even though I grew up in a wonderful home and so because of that I, I suppose inadvertently started to rebel sin started to creep into my life with regards to um, from a very young age from uh, standard four grade six started to use drugs recreationally and I'm not talking about Panado, I'm talking about weed and Mandrax from a very, very young age. And so um, it kind of set a trajectory for me through even my high school career to be a bit of a washout. Um, and so what I did find significance in is in sport, uh, not academically, um, in parties, in being a cool guy, in being liked, um, and all those things. Um, but all of them out of this place of rebellion, unaware of my real need for Jesus. And so my family were, um, were obviously praying for me. Um, my brother and sister, um, my sister and brother-in-law had just recently got saved and they were really living um, this new life out quite radically. Because um, I knew who my sister was before and uh, the Lord had really changed her and at that time, her boyfriend's heart and I saw a dramatic change in them. And they just dealt with me, even in all my sin, with such care and love. And um, just with such compassion. And so I remember it was last minute. Um, my brother-in-law sent in, invited me to church. And I thought, what the heck? Let's go for it. Um, and I went. And um, it was an odd evening. Um, Brad had felt to march around the school hall um, um, like Jericho, like they did in Jericho. And I thought, man, these people are whack. Remember, I'm this young whippersnapper, coolest, slickest kid around. And I thought this was absolutely nuts. Um, but I saw a sincerity and a, a deep desperation to follow what the Lord wanted uh, from them. And um, I remember even just speaking to another young guy. It was just two of us who were in high school. I just met him that night at church and we were literally just bobbing and talking. And we had some things in common that we were chatting about. And, and then the word came and um, the gospel message came. And I felt my heart just being so overwhelmed by the need for this love. I didn't know what was going to happen in the days and weeks to come, but... It was like my heart was being pulled hard by the Lord. And I think without even thinking about it logically um, or rationally, I worked on what emotion was coming from my heart. And I remember leaping up out of my seat, running, and literally diving onto my knees and surrendered to the Lord. And had my brother-in-law and another guy pray for me. And I remember significantly just, you know, just... Um, giving my life to Lord, like realizing my sin and my need for a savior, but didn't at that stage even realize what it would require for me in terms of my life. And so through really good discipleship, through love, through uh, people within the life of the church, guys much older than me, at that stage I was the youngest guy um, that was like participating in the Noxian Life Church. This is uh, like, probably 15 years ago, so 2005. Um, and guys that are much older than me, um, bringing me in like big brothers or fathers and just discipling me and loving me. 
and just enjoying my company. And I found so much, um, I just found so much like love in those relationships even. Um, and the Lord would just speak through them um, being gracious with me and, and um, calling a spade a spade, loving me through it because um, I had a hectic addiction to marijuana. I mean, I've been smoking since um, since standard four, grade six, through the whole of high school to my matric years, and so and dealing, um, and and racks, and just I mean, I just look at my life, what it could have become, if the Lord hadn't hadn't saved me when He had. Um, but it was a process for me, and the Lord spoke to me through that and protected me in that, um, through His Word, through worship, through relationships, and I'm so grateful for that, as I think about it today. Um, and it's, it's been an incredible journey. And so today I find myself um, just, this has been a great season to just reflect in the Lord of what he's done and who he is. And today, listening to CDs that I did in those days, like Old Hill Song, Look To You CD, um, that's the kind of worship stuff I got saved into. And it's all surrender, it's all about the cross. And so grateful for the cross of Jesus. Um, and had to work through with Jesus even doing this Christian life, day to day, week to week, month to month, still with many obstructions and struggles um, in many, many ways, but the Lord has been so faithful to me. And so I'm now married, I have uh, two beautiful children. Um, I'm just so blessed by the graciousness of God and just wondering, Lord, if it wasn't for you, Jesus, if it wasn't for your love, where would I be today? And so I'm so grateful for that. Um, and just in closing, like just I'm stirred to want to be that, what so many people were to me, to so many people. And I believe I've lived that out um, to a degree, but man, the Lord's just stirring my heart in this time to um, really be an encouragement to um, young guys' lives, to older guys' lives, but just be intentional about everything that I do. And I think about the relationships that were impacting me as I was growing in Jesus. Um, I just think about those relationships, relationships being um, so intentional. There's no reason for someone who, when I was 18, for someone who was 32, to be hanging out with me and being like a big brother and being generous and kind and allowing me in their space. That would have had to be done out of intention. And so the Lord's really stirred me in this season to be that to so many. And so I really hope this testimony encourages you, um, whoever you are out there. If, uh, if you don't know the Lord, um, I'm living proof of His grace and mercy and love to bring you out of all those things, including addictions, um, including brokenness, including anger. Um, and the Lord has just been so good to me in my life. And um, I just feel so hopeful for the future. God is great. Love you guys.